side camera looks good, the microphone's off mute. Camera, I've got a new battery in this camera, so it's going to last for the hope of both runs. Nice. But yeah, you're, just, you're pretty much you're there, guys. Do you awesome. need credits? Uh, we've, we've got, got six. six in here, but maybe just in case. So you put that next to you on the other cap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're live. Hello. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us live from the 1989 arcade bar. Uh, we're going to be running some Golden Axe tonight. Uh, number one and number two, the Revenge of Death out of the arcade only. As well, so we've got the two Astro Cities set up. Um, but, Steve, is there anything else you wanted to say? Welcome to the crew. Ah, you are familiar with me, Mr. Sekrin. I've been doing a few other streams. I've got my mate here, Martin Tane Taylor. Uh, one of the regulars that comes here, and we've got the owner, if he wants to come over quickly. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm good, guys. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, we've got we've mates with the owner, and he's graciously let us come into the bar, and yeah, we're going to play Golden Axe right, yeah. back-to-back arcade. So, we're going to do a two-player run of Golden Axe 1 first. Hopefully, we're going to try and 1cc it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Martin will probably do a 1cc more than me because he's been practicing a bit more than I have. Uh, it's interesting though, I mean, um, this is a game doing a two player run is a little bit different as well, so we've really only just got to start looking at those strats today. So uh, we'll see how we go, but we're going to be having fun just celebrating an awesome game anyway. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So Steve, whenever you're ready, um, we'll yep. hit, the, hit the start button and we can go for it. Alright, just have a sip of my beer. Oh uh, yeah, safe to sip. Cheers everyone, cheers everyone to drinking at home. Not drinking at home, playing at home, <laughs> watching at home. You can also be drinking at home. The joys of playing arcade games at a bar. Oh <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's get started. Get some axe All right. What's the dwarf's name again? Uh, Gilius Thunderhead. Gilius Thunderhead. No Taris player. Uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, there is a slight difference in gameplay. So uh, Gilius Thunderhead is the based character. Uh, he does a little bit of extra damage. Uh, but uh, Axe Battler here as well. He, um, he's kind of the mid-range guy. He has a bit of magic too. Uh, and then Taris Flair is the, the more magic based character who does probably the least amount of melee damage. So for doing a uh, one player race, uh, playthrough, I find it like incredibly impressive what I've done. Tyrus Flair, but that ain't me, unfortunately. Sorry. Stream? Yeah, I can't see if there's any comments or anything. Oh, Tom, do you want Sorry. to sit by the screen and uh, and call anything out? If uh, you can watch the screen, you can read our thoughts and we can answer uh, I don't think it's on there, it's not on there, hang on. Oh, I'll that's okay. on my phone. Sorry oh, guys, okay. just gonna bring up the comments in case, so we can see what's going on. I that's all good. Enjoy the soundtrack in the meantime. Uh, Nakabayashi, who also worked on Alien Syndrome, uh, Ghostbusters Sigma Master System, Old Beast, Thunderblade, Moonwalker, and the Die Hard Arcade game as well. Yeah, yeah, all okay. the same guy. Yeah. Did you just run that off or did you read that? I totally have some notes. <laughs> Don't tell the internet. <laughs> that's, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's nice to know these things as well. And I mean, obviously, for anyone who knows the game well. Uh, that screen, by the way, is a digitized version of uh, someone falling out of a helicopter from Rambo. Uh, that's <laughs> wow, so, really? Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, there's a lot of digitized stuff like that. And um, the creators were like very, very inspired, obviously, by a lot of your, your sort of sword and sorcery barbarian stuff as well. Right. Yeah, yeah, so there actually is a, uh, a sound bite out of uh, kind of the barbarian in this coming up. So, uh, Sergeant Mont and Hops, the, the double boss at the end here. Um, they um, the death scream is Thorgrim, one of the one of the two guys who um raised the Predator's village uh, dying in the battle of the mountains. Uh, which is kinda of sweet. And well, this is why I got Martin to come on stream with me, because he knows a lot of shit about games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a bit of a nerd. It researches more than I do. Oh, these guys suck. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, uh, Sergeant Molten Hops, I believe. Uh, and heaps of the enemies are uh, very fitting for an arcade. What is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get the double kill there, but this is a little strategy trying oh, to get it down. smokes those guys. It's uh, with, the, with, the, with the chicken legs, the copper trice, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least 
at least for the first one. But, yeah. um, so what, what Martin I hate was, that little prick. <laughs> Get him. What Martin was touching on was uh, there's a strat. If someone's going for high score. It's a strat to get extra points on a double kill, so mm. when you get the last hit on an enemy, before they actually I can't hit, the exactly, hit the ground, yeah. if you do yeah, magic, you can kill them twice, so you get double the points. And obviously you're not allowed to get hit, so to get like a perfect score, you got to pretty much get a no hit to finish the game. But you need all the double kills as well to yeah. get the points, extra points. So to get over 200, which is, you know, like doable, but it's not... It looks like a simple game, but it's a bit of a turd still in many parts. Yeah. Sometimes they just get you, and then they fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So sick how the logo for the Sega Thon looks like WrestleMania or something. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Nice. So we've also it's got so our, other, our other mate here, Tom, is in the background. Yeah. Oh, One of our mates and one of the regulars. VHS guy, 1989. Yeah. Sweet it. Yeah. VHS Sweet it. Amazing. Sweet it. So, yeah, it's coming back after. For retro all, all that collector, not high score. For all you retro heads out there, whenever yeah, you eventually, back, if you ever come back. to Australia for a holiday, you come to Sydney, come to 1989 Arcade Bar, this is where we're playing from. So many events on. One of the events that ben was just, uh, Tom was just mentioning is the VHS Flea Pit. I'll, I'll scream Conan so, for you. Actually, no, I'll do Red Sonja. I'll do that. Oh, I'll do that. So, I, no, legitimately, I might do that. We actually put it I'll say it's the worst, the worst Schwarzenegger film, <laughs> and it's a barbo. But it's actually, it's got its redeeming qualities. It's, uh, it's worth a watch. Isn't it, um, what's the, what's the, what's the Conan, the female Conan movie? Red Sonja. Oh, it's Red Sonja. Oh, yeah, Red Sonja. Yeah, Richard Nielsen. How, yeah. how bad is my movie title? <laughs> uh, uh, um, yeah, that is so bad. Red it's not great, but I think it, it's a flea pit. Okay, yeah, be good. Oh, but uh, yeah, the flea pit put on really big great VHS movies off, off a VHS player. I think I'm going to kick off with the wizard. I think the wizard. Ah, uh, the wizard. Might. What a yeah. classic movie. Nice. Very that big run to it, like. I'll, oh, I'll, yeah. do, I'll do Mortal Kombat and stuff at some point, like Double uh, Dragon maybe, like I'll, I'll work through those. Oh man, yeah, for sure. That that first Mortal Kombat movie I really enjoyed, the second one is terrible. The first one's actually pretty fun. That's yeah. super fun. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it, I'll do it. I can't see what's on chat. Sorry guys, I can't see what's on chat on my phone, it's too small. <laughs> so if you ask um, any questions, we will... Well, do you want Tom to receive the chat? Where is it? Where is uh, it? Go into Twitch on the computer. Yep, uh, don't close that window. Window. This window. Hang on, one sec. Yeah, all good. As long as we don't move, the enemy won't attack us. Otherwise, you're going to be watching a man trying to play with two characters uh, with, uh, with two hands. They said it could be done! Yeah, they were probably right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, um, so, uh, created in 1989 uh, by Makoto Yoshida. Uh, he also worked on Alter Beast as well. Uh, also, uh, the Sega, uh, well, I believe it was Saturn, uh, originally the classic of Nights of Dreams, he did the music for that. Um, so you want me to read the page? Uh, yeah, if anyone asked a question, just yeah, let us know. Yeah, Dead 3 as well, Nicole. Well, 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 so actually, uh, I'm great to see you. see come just on that ads at the moment. Okay, we all good? Uh, yep, let's go. Oh, shit, I did something silly. Oh, popped a hit. So we, we put in two hours, I think we put in like a two hour slot to play through both games. Which should be more than enough, because I think it's a, it only takes about 15-20 minutes to finish this game. It's a, it's a very quick game. And the second game's a bit, little bit longer. So we might finish a bit early, but we'll uh, see what happens. We've gone pretty good so far. I've lost one bar of health, so... Nice. Well, I'm sure playing. we get the, uh, the green thief. Shit. As well, so yeah, the first green thief in between the stages. You get these, man. Oh, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm all good. So hopefully, it will be pretty cool if we can 1cc this. I haven't 1cc'd it yet. Martin's been closer than I. Uh, you can go for the death jump. <laughs> this is like in Double Dragon, the one jump. Oh, <laughs> that fuck shot. Fucking hate that jump. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, classic! Uh, I fucked it up. I didn't do the dash to jump. That's why I don't do oh. the dash to jump. Okay, you take anyone that takes comes down the side. Because the dash, that's right. The dash was not working properly, isn't it? For some oh, reason. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna jump attack this guy. Give him, uh, 
I was going to give him an axe to the head, but uh, I don't think I got this guy to double kill, unfortunately. But that's a perfect spot there as well. Oh, oh sorry, dude. Well, I should have used... Oh, you get that, because I've got full... Oh, yeah. Just need a top up. Okay. Uh, there's going to be some guys up here that are going to try and... Um, Did we get another weapon up here? Or? I mean, uh, oh animal God. ride? I can't remember. No, you don't get another bizarre animal. Oh, I cooked that. Oh. You go for oh, no. You go for a Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Well, there goes my 1cc attempt. <laughs> oh, God. And the, and the bizarre ran away as well. And it's, uh, now it's on Martin's shoulders to try and get through 1cc. Ah. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I, I'm... I'm probably banking on a three three continues for me to finish to get through the game. I think that's what we did when we practiced it just before I did three continues. I don't practice that much. But I didn't get a continue until further into the game when we practiced just before. <laughs> yeah, kill that dude. I've got magic still, don't I? Oh right, uh, yeah, dude, kill it. I wanna try and get a double kill now. Yeah, yeah, he did it. That was nice. a double kill. See yeah. how see how he died twice? That's a double kill, so you get extra points for that. Yeah, that is. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, sweet. Oh sorry man, I should have left one of those for you. Good time to check comments. I do like doing this little roll. I should actually do this some more. It's fun. <laughs> I'm not interested in anyone. <laughs> no. Turn around. Yeah, take that. It's like going color way. Okay, we're gonna try and hide this dude down here. Nice. Yeah, knocked off the edge. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we got this other strat you mentioned before where we keep him up the top. Yeah, so uh, this guy at one point, it's only yeah. on the right on this side. Cool. So there's going to be a guy here, but we both need to be here and then just walk back. So, so we're going to jump down and then we can just kill this guy and he's hard to get up. So, see how I also move slightly up or down the screen to stop him from dashing because then he's got a chance of actually getting him down. So you're kind of doing a little bit of a Sort of bait, I suppose. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I didn't even, sorry. Can no, you no, get a okay. bait anyone here? Or uh, yeah, you can actually. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you want to try this time? So, yeah, you don't even need to jump because then if you jump and they start attacking, they might hit you, but you can just sit here. Yeah. Your attack animation will hit them, but they don't. Are you sure? He's because he's a bit Yeah. Uh, Thunder Dude's a bit shorter, but it looks cooler with his axe. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Tried to do a dash. Oh, yeah, uh, I can't dash. Sometimes the dash will kind of go short as well. Like, I had that a couple of times where it looked like it did the animation, but it didn't actually hit him, even though he's right next to me, and I stopped when I hit him. Okay, so we're about to have two skeletons and one of these guys oh. come up. I'm going to just. Do magic? Yeah. I don't think it's going to kill them, unfortunately. I'll do my know. one bit of magic. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look, it's the best time to do it, mainly because... Nice. I can never get that fucking... Down, down kill. Oh, fuck off. I hate the skeletons. They're the hardest enemy in this game. Just... Yeah, oh, sure. Ruin your life. Ruin your life. Nice. So we're playing this on an official. Uh, we're playing on an Astro City cab, but this is an official uh, Golden Axe Sega Golden Axe arcade board. So it's a legit board. It's not a not a bootleg. Oh, welcome. 
And when we play Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder, that's on a uh, original board too. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last level. Oh yeah, we're up to last level yeah. already. Yeah. Well, can I get him up here? Nice. Oh. Oh, come down here. Fall off, you can throw and throw them over that head. Uh, I'll give you the dragon, dude. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Have you even. Are you still on your first. Oh! <laughs> I swear I wasn't even hitting the joystick just then. I swear I was not even touching the joystick. I was about to say, have you even lost a life? <laughs> and then you lost uh, well, off the well, edge. To answer your question, <laughs> I have now. <laughs> that was. Oh my god. That was really So, so far, you, up until that. <laughs> Up until that bit, I was on full health, full, you know, I've been hit, but I got some health back. Uh, <laughs> that was, oh god. Oh, oh, oh no, now I've lost another. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is where Gilius and Axe Battler turn on each other. Uh, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, a little friendly fire never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just the odd barbarian. Oh, I'm totally going to die here, I'm just going to use my magic now. It's not going to be a 1cc run, I'm sorry everyone, that's very sloppy, very sloppy. <laughs> oh, right. the dragon's gone. Uh, oh, I hate that throw so much. It doesn't, you don't even get any satisfaction from dying. See, what's that? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, no, with no dragon here, this is a very difficult fight. Mainly because these guys, you can try and do a strat, you can wait for them to come diagonally, and then, um, you know, you can do a knockdown attack. But they. I don't know why they just with the. Sorry. They just hit you, like, mercilessly. I don't know why the dash isn't working properly. Ben needs to fix his joysticks. <laughs> uh, before the stream, like, we, uh, earlier today we were in the bar when it was open for, like, a super session style thing for kids. Um, we came in and we went to have a go at Golden Axe and we realised Player 1's uh, attack button wasn't working. Yeah. <laughs> we could only jump and do magic. <laughs> so uh, Ben had to do a quick uh, repair job before and apparently the, li the little connection on the button came unstuck so he just had to reconnect the button and now I can attack again. <laughs> Oh, I've got full, full magic. Yeah, man. Come here, ready? Oh, to I can't even get that pot. Nice. Oh! Oh my god. I am playing like. It's the only enemy in the game that can attack off the angle, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. His little diagonal and there actually punch sprouts. Is... His little, uh... What is it? What does Jax call it when he ground pound? When he slams uh, around? Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to put a dollar in quick. Oh, oh so do I. What's that, sorry? Hey guys, Pimp to the podcast. Pimp to the podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Yes, indeed. That was great fun. That was so awesome. Uh, I love the sound that Gilius makes when he dies. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and get one of these. Oh, I keep getting greedy. I'm gonna oh, see the strats. I can never get that death kill if I can jump. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> Is that his dead? Uh, nah, no, damn. That would have been. been so awesome if his axe had have flown up <laughs> with, uh, the, with the. Uh, I'm getting really sloppy. Sword, the sword to the sword to the chest. Yeah. Look at that. I want to get it. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should have actually kept the combo going there. Uh, but I thought I was going to get hit. Oh! 
I need to put Let's another see. dollar in. Hang on. Oh, don't kill him. So I'm gonna try and. I better put a dollar in just in case you die. I'm all good. See how I'm kind of cutting. Yes! Go hit him. Okay, two credit. But, you know. But. I think I used more than three credits. I probably used about five or six credits that time. Uh, that was a bit shit. Oh, uh, I might have used an extra one there actually. But, yeah, that boss metal is where I saw that. But yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, Golden Axe, original Seven. Golden Axe. Well. Yep, that's the first Golden Axe we've gotten through. Um, about to see if anyone hasn't finished this before or seen the ending. It's so fucking awesome. I love this ending. It's the best ending on an arcade game there is, I reckon. Yes, totally. Uh, some uh, eagle eyed viewers will also notice the Opa Opa up here on the top part of the screen. Obviously, being the, uh, the ship from Fantasy Zone and also the original Sega mascot as well. Because uh, bearing in mind, I mean, geez, it's 89, I suppose. So, yeah, that's like I guess. I was giving you a while was out, but yeah, he wasn't the mascot still. So. Enjoy some Hakari sweat up as well. But yeah, what an awesome ending. Love it. Nice work, man. Cheers. Cheers. That's a quick, guys. How long is that? Yeah, I think it's a 20 minute. I think it takes 20 minutes. I'm not sure what the speed run. I don't know. People speed run it, and they what do it prime prime pretty time? fast. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> story of my life. <laughs> you know, Sega, <laughs> as we say it in Australia, Sega. Yeah, Sega. Sega, mate. Sega. It's fucking Sega, cut. Sega. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Nice one. So 41, Martin got 57. Rank uh, A, what's that? Rank C. Yeah. I get, on a good game, I can get over 200. Uh, which is the top ranking, but I don't finish the game when I do that yet. How funny is all the old arcade games if the winners don't use drugs? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> you know, uh, the guy who was the, because uh, what, it's a CIA message, right? Is it, no, sorry, or FBI, it's FBI. Okay. Um, it was William Sessions, I believe. He's the only um, head of the FBI to be removed from his post in American history. Right. The guy who created that. So, <laughs> yeah. Why was he removed? Um, there were some issues during the Clinton uh, years where he actually, Clinton called him and said, yeah, he doesn't have a job anymore. Uh, pretty much, they had to make a big public thing about it. I can't remember the exact reasons. I think it was him using a lot of government money to ferry his family around on flights and stuff. Uh, uh, from memory. Uh, I see. Yeah, like $100,000 in the 90s claimed on stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, bit of a thing. All right. Who was so, the bloke that pioneered that here? There was someone like years ago. Was the, was oh, the like, Winners Don't Use Drugs? No, no, the Flight Lord. Who, who pioneered like rorting flights in Australia like years, like the 90s? Uh, uh, one of the, that? was it a minute? One it's of the fat, guys? fat fuck. Oh, what do you, what do you want to do, um, Stephen? Do you want to do another plane? Who was that? Carrie, uh, like, no, we'll, 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 we'll um, no, no, we're no, just going to move like, over to the now the cab. So, remember? We've got the cab next to this cab yeah, with Golden X2 in there already awesome set up. Like, so we're just going to move the camera we're over. Let's keep, we're going to keep streaming while we do it. Yeah, we're just going to slide the camera over. Just keep it rolling. And we're going to slide it over. Rolling. 